Welcome to this video which is about Pentagon. In this video, we are going to learn about the properties of Pentagon that is the interior and the exterior angle of polygon and the diagonals and the diagonal length of Pentagon. Then how to draw a Pentagon and finally how to find the area of Pentagon. Let's start with the, what is Pentagon. Pentagon is a polygon having five sides. If all the five sides are equal, in that case, that pentagon is called regular pentagon. Now, let's see the interior and the exterior angle of pentagon. This is the pentagon. This is the interior angle. In this case, we consider this pentagon as a regular pentagon. And pentagon is a five-sided regular polygon. We know for the n-sided regular polygon, the value of its interior angle is n minus 2 times 180 divided by n where n is number of side of that polygon. Since the pentagon has 5 sides, so the value of n is 5. So 5 minus 2 times 180 divided by 5, which is 108. So the value of its interior angle of a regular pentagon is 180. Then this one is the exterior angle for the regular pentagon. We know the sum of all exterior angle of any regular polygon is 360 degrees. So in this case, the formula is 360 divided by n, where n is number of sides. So in case of pentagon, 360 divided by 5, which is 72 degrees. So value of its exterior angle for any regular pentagon is 72 degrees. The value of this interior and exterior angle will help us to draw the pentagon. Using this value, we can easily draw any pentagon. Now, the vertices and the diagonals. The polygon is five-sided and close area, so it must have five vertices. And the line joining from any vertices to the opposite vertex, other than these two vertices, that is for this one, other than these two, the line joining from this one to this one, or this one to this one, this two is known as the diagonal. The line joining any two vertices, other than the adjacent vertices, is known as the diagonal. In this case, for these vertices, these two vertices is adjacent vertex. So other than these two, the any line joining this one and this one or this one and this one. These two are known as the diagonals of pentagon. We know the formula that is for the n-sided polygon, which have n into n minus 3 divided by 2 number of diagonals. So in case of pentagon, the value of n is 5. So 5 into 5 minus 3 divided by 2, that is 5. So in case of pentagon, we can draw five diagonals. That is, this one is one, then two, then three, four, then five. So in case of pentagon, we can draw five diagonals. With this diagonal, one new pentagon is created here, this one. We will discuss about this pentagon in the later part of this video. Now, the length of diagonal. This is our regular pentagon, and this is the diagonal. Suppose the length of side is given, since this one is a regular polygon or regular pentagon, so all five sides are equal. Let the length of side is A and the length of diagonal is D. Now, let's draw another two diagonals. This one is the intersecting point. Just, just consider these four vertex and this enclosed area. This polygon is symmetric about this line and also this line. So, we can say, so we can say these two lengths must be equal. Also, these two lengths also equal. This one is the diagonal whose value is D and this one is A. So we can say this one is D minus A. Now, just consider this three triangle. This one, this one, and also this one. We can easily prove that these two dragons, this one and this one, are congruent because the sides are equal and this one is a common side. So these two triangles must be congruent. And we can easily prove this one, this triangle, that is this one, and this one is also similar because this angle and this angle are equal, and this angle and this angle are equal, and these two are vertically opposite angle, which are also equal. So this triangle and this one, these two are similar triangle. In case of similar triangle, the ratio of the corresponding sides are equal. So, from here we can write D minus A divided by A, that is D minus A divided by A, is which is equal to A divided by D. 
from here we can write d times d minus a which is equal to a square and d square minus a d minus a square which is equal to 0. Using the quadratic equation solving formula we can easily solve this one for d that is d equal a plus minus square root of a square minus 4 times minus a square divided by 2 which is equal to we can write a plus minus square root of 5 a square divided by 2 that is d equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 into a where a is the length of side of regular pentagon in that case the length of diagonal which is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 times a so if we know the value of this side we can easily find the value of this t that is the diagonal when we draw all five diagonals of any regular pentagon there is a new regular pentagon created here this one is our new regular pentagon if the length of side of any regular pentagon is a length of side of this small regular pentagon is x now we are going to relate this x with a we know this length is d and if this one is x so this one is d minus a we know this one because the, if this one is a then this one is a so this one is d minus a and this one is also d minus a so from here we can easily write d minus a plus x plus d minus a which is equal to d the length of diagonal after simplification we can write x equal to 2a minus d if we substitute the value of d here that is 2a minus that is 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 times a which is equal to 3 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 times a that is the length of the side of the uh, small regular polygon which is x is equal to 3 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 times a where a is the length of the side of regular polygon the original one so we can call the value of x is 3 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 times a let's see how to draw any regular pentagon when a side is given from this line we just take our initial length that is the given side length so the step number one is take one side this one is our side and and we know the measure of its interior angle of a regular pentagon is 108 degree so the next step is draw two 108 angle at this point and also this point this one our step number two using protector we can easily draw this angle this one is the first one and this one is our second one so the step number two is draw 108 degree at two end of this side now cut the initial length this length from these two sides the first one and the second one that is cut two side equal to the initial one so we already got one two three side now draw another two up taking this point at the center and this point at the center and the length of radius equal to the the side of this pentagon that is first one and the second one draw two arcs equal to the initial side so taking this length as a radius and taking this point as the center draw one arc and this point as the center taking the same length draw another arc we got one intersecting point now join this intersecting point and this one and this intersecting point with this one so step number five is join the point to complete the construction so we got our regular pentagon here we just draw this one using the internal angle that is by drawing 108 degree at these two points similarly using the exterior angle that is the measure of exterior angle for regular pentagon is 72 degree if we draw 72 degree angle here also here we can easily draw the pentagon so we can draw the regular pentagon using the value of interior angle also the value of exterior angle by following this five step we can draw any pentagon using protector when one side length of that regular pentagon is given 
Now let's see another way of drawing the regular pentagon which is without protector. In this case, we draw a pentagon or regular pentagon which is inscribed in a circle. So let's start with taking this circle and draw two diameter and this one is center and these two diameter intersect each other at 90 degree at the center. Take this radius that is OR and bisect this radius OR. So step number one is bisect the radius OR by taking this radius length, taking one arc and equal another arc here and joining this intersecting point which is bisect this OR at F. Now step number two, name this point as B and join this FB and taking this radius, draw one arc. That is, use F as a center and BF as a uh, radius draw one arc which is BZ and so this point is our G. Taking B as a center and BZ as a length draw another arc which is GC so this point is our C. Then draw BC so this C and this B join with one straight line this is our one side of regular pentagon. Taking the length of BC as a radius and C as a center draw one arc this one. This point is D. Another arc with the same radius and taking D as a center. And finally, draw another one that is E as a center with the same radius, this one, which we call A. So this is our step number five. Draw the sides of the polygon that is C to D, D to E, E to A, and A to B. So this A, B, C, D, E are required regular pentagon. So in this way, we can draw a regular pentagon without protector where the regular pentagon is inscribed in a circle. Now, let's find the area of pentagon. That is, area of regular pentagon. This one is our regular pentagon. The length of each side of this regular pentagon is A. Now, we divide this regular pentagon into five equal triangle and taking this triangle which is must be an isosceles triangle this one is our interior angle of this triangle and this one is the height of this triangle now let's see some relation between interior and the exterior angle of this regular polygon and this side must be half of this side that is a by two now the angle at the vertices. So since this one is theta and this one is also theta, so the angle at vertices is 2 theta. And total angle at vertices is in this type of 5 vertices here. So 5 times 2 theta, which is 10 theta. So total angle at vertices, which is 10 theta. Now, the angle at the center, we know this one is one complete round. So this one must be 360 degree. So, if we sum all this angle, we get 360 degrees. So, sum of all angle, that is for this triangle, that is we got the vertex, this angle is 10 theta and the center angle is 360. So, the sum of all angles for this triangle, that is the summation of all the angle of this 5 triangle which is 360 plus 10 theta. Now, sum of the angle for triangle, that is 5 triangle is here, that is 5 times 180 degree. We know sum of the 3 angle of any triangle is 180 degree. So, these two value must be equal. That is 360 plus 10 theta is equal to 5 times 180 degree. So, theta is equal to 54 degree. So, the value of each theta, the half of the angle at vertices for the pentagon, which is the angle for the each triangle, which is 54 degree. Now, if we want to find the height of this triangle, that is the relation between this height and the base and this theta, we can write A is equal to A by 2 tan 54 degree, where the theta is equal to 54 degree. Now, the area of this triangle is half times a times a by 2, 10, 54 degree. That is half times the base, the length of base is a, 
and the length of height is a by 2 1054. So after simplification we can write 5 a square divided by 4 1054 degree. So this is our area of the regular pentagon. If we know the value of this side we can easily find the area of this regular pentagon. Now let's find the value of golden ratio from the pentagon. So consider this one is a regular pentagon and the length of each side is a. If the length of side of this regular pentagon that is a is equal to 1 in that case the d is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 divided by 2 and this is the value of this diagonal. So this is the value which we can call the golden ratio. So in case of any regular pentagon when the length of its side is 1 in that case the length of diagonal is the value of golden ratio. That is, if the length of side of a pentagon is one unit, then the length of diagonal of that pentagon is equal to the golden ratio. 